I think, I think. What's Casals doing? Full head of steam! No! And the mop oh, takes up and flight! Over the top rope and onto the ground! The athleticism of a man that big, uncanny. I cannot believe what I've just seen. You're, you're right, Martin Casals must go, what, 225, 230? Yeah, at least. Big man, and he was. Where'd you go, little bit, Dana? <laughs> it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Welcome to the ring. Martin Casaus! And here he comes from Lucha Underground. Guy who made his name here in UCW Zero. A homebred talent, but I'm not sure if we claim him. This being Marty the Moth. Believe it or not, Martin at one time was a tag team partner of mine. In fact, we were tag team champions. I will say at that time he was not as crazy, as devious, or as cunning and calculated, but he has definitely reached a new level of success, not only here in Utah, but nationally as well. Martin Casals making no friends here in Magna. Absolutely not. I look around here and I remember why I'm so glad I went to private school. This is true. Martin Casals, a Juan Diego graduate. He's not a motivational speaker, I'll tell you that much. Now I want a burger. So, you and me both. Number one, you're welcome, I'm here. <laughs> number two, I'm about to fight Los Mochi Paco for the UCW heavyweight title. <laughs> Cypress High, I hope you get a good look at this title that's about to be mine. Because this is the closest. 
closest to championship that you will ever see. Take this microphone. Well, what a monologue there by Martin Casals or Marty the Moth Martinez. He's definitely proud of himself. And his opponent, Los Moti Paco! And here he comes, the UCW Zero champion. The longest tenured competitor in UCW Zero, Paco. And this should be a great match, Marcus. I mean, you are looking at really the two pillars that UCW Zero stands on right now and for the last 10 years. You're right, Derek Gennetti. I just put some Skittles in my mouth. But you're, but you're absolutely correct. Chew before you swallow. It's important. Martin Casals, obviously very proud of himself, obviously a very prideful individual, but let's see if he can back it, on, back it up. I mean, if he takes the championship home, you can't really argue with the guy. You can't really dispute the guy. And this should be a great match. The UCW Zero Championship is on the line. A master of mind games, a master of manipulation, uh, and a master of in-ring technique. I mean, this guy has, like he said, his pedigree is unmatched. The favorite to win uh, WWE Tough Enough until he broke his, his ankle, uh, his ankle yeah. on, on the show. He breaks his ankle, was probably in line to win that show, and that's just how it goes. He's now currently a member of Lucha Underground. He has been in movies. He has toured everywhere wrestled in just about every not even every state but every country every oh, continent absolutely. this man for the career that he's had is just an unbelievable competitor and you're not going to get out uh that easy Paco. not well, on a guy like martin and the thing about martin i mean me and martin uh, we we were tag team champions for quite some time but martin the difference in martin now is that maniacal state that we often find the guy in i mean he's completely off his rocker crazy but he uses it to benefit uh, himself in the ring. Right now, Paco using speed and agility to take Marcus off his feet, Martin off his feet. Oh, beautiful hurricane. That Rana. was so good. It did almost take me off my feet. It, it definitely took Martin Casals off his feet. As my he, gosh. Martin, Martin taking a second to compose himself. Uh, I don't think he understands what he's up against. Oh, sitting on one of our... Oh, Much she, to her dismay. Having none of it. Yeah, she put her hands up, said, "I will have none of it." And the look of disgust on the fans' face here at Cypress High School. Martin definitely not a guy attempting to endear himself to the crowd in any way, shape, or form. But I got to say this: I mean, as a guy who's who's squared off against Martin and tag teamed with him, the guy is smart. And right now. I mean, he's taking his time, he's regrouping, but also I think what he's doing is almost suckering Paco into that false sense of security. And when the moth is ready, I mean, he's going to seize that opportunity. Here's the thing about... Oh, no. Oh, oh! I think, I think... What's Casals doing? Full head of steam! No! And the moth oh, takes up and flight! Up the top rope and onto the ground! The athleticism of a man that big, uncanny. I cannot believe what I've just seen. You're, you're right, Martin Casals must go, what, 225, 230? Yeah, at least. Big man, and he walked, oh, jumped over the top of that like he was walking down the street. There was, I mean, that was the easiest thing I've ever seen a human being do. He made it look easy. People don't realize those ropes, that's four and a half feet in the air he just jumped over, then down onto the ground, not to mean the, the, the distance from the, from the ring onto the floor. And the impact, I mean, oh. the impact of the collision. Paco, a smaller guy. And right now you're seeing the results of that. Martin Casals beating up Paco on the outside of the ring. Saying, I, I, I'll do what I, I want. Do what I want. Well, no, I do what I want. No one's going to argue with the guy. What are you going to do? We're taking it to the stands. They're UCW up in the stands Zero right title now, up in the, the bleachers. I don't know that the people in those bleacher seats realized the action was going to get that close to them. 
And Martin Casals, let's get a cameraman there. It looks like he's almost tying him up in the bleachers. And Paco has had a number of reconstructive knee surgeries, and it looks like his leg is in a compromising position. Oh, oh, oh push! Into the steel barricade of the bleachers! Uh, that barricade bounced. It moved. It may have even bent around the body of Casals. And what is Paco thinking? What's this? He jumps, springboards oh! into it. Frankensteiner! What have I seen? Paco! Amazing! An unbelievable move here at Cypress High School, and the crowd showing their approval. Just to put that into words, he literally springboarded over the barricade, landed on Martin, and then went into a hurricane rata. On the basketball court floor here, this is there are no pads down here. There are no mattresses or pillows or cushion for these men to fall on. They are falling on hard wood, running into hard steel, and sometimes a hard foot or hard fist. And we are off onto a hot start for the UCW Zero Championship. Paco trying to continue that momentum. Hard into the buckle. Martin Cassell full head of steam. I think he just lost a tooth. Paco back up to the second. Counters the kick. And look oh, at the power of no. Cassell. Oh! oh! Release Northern Light Suplex into the turnbuckle. And that is the momentum shift that Martin needed as Paco looks worse for wear. Oh, I thought that was it. Paco. And it looks like he's clutching at his knees right now. Like I mentioned, Paco has had a number of reconstructive surgeries on his legs. And that can't be healthy when your knee is, is thrown into the ropes like that. That's an easy way to hyperextend. But look at Paco right back on offense. Look at this guy fight. And when you mention Paco, a longtime favorite of the UCW Zero fan base, it's because of that fighting spirit. Oh, oh. and the knees to the midsection of Casaus, driving Casaus down to the mat. This could be it. One, two, and no. Nope. nope. Martin Casaus, here's the thing, is he's like a puzzle, a big, beefy puzzle that will punch you in the face. And if you don't figure this puzzle out before this puzzle figures you out, you probably have a couple pieces missing. Oh, absolutely, and I think he's a puzzle that's always changing. I mean, the yeah. guy, he's, he's definitely, you can never would blame Martin for standing still. Always moving. Oh, a huge! What a drop kick. Drop kick right to the face. And look at the look on Martin's face, maybe showing some frustration right now, but one thing that we've seen with Casals, he's able to channel that frustration into kind of a maniacal mean streak and use it against his opponent. And right now, that's exactly what he's doing. He's got Paco in a prone position. Trying to neutralize the arm. Smart maneuver there. And now digging at the face. He's digging at the face of Paco, dragging him by his nostrils. And now choking him with the boot. And Jack trades the referee trying to get a hold on this match. Martin Casals, as he mentioned, he does what he wants. Well, and uh, who's going to stop him? Who's going to stop Martin Casals? I, I mean, look, I'm, I'm not going to say that, that a man like Derek Gennetti couldn't stop Martin Casals. I'll say it. <laughs> I'll say it straight up. You know, I, I, I think about this. I think, you know... I never, I never got a chance to meet Martin Casals in the ring. You know, if, if, if I had been able to, uh, in my prime, stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Martin Casals, I don't know what I would have been able to do. I don't know how I would have stood up, stacked up against this unbelievable competitor, just somebody who's run roughshod over pretty much everybody in the, not only the UCW locker room, but the WWE. Absolutely. At Lucha Underground. Oh, yeah. This man is a dangerous, dangerous competitor, and I'm kind of glad that I, I got out of the business before I had to deal with Martin Casals. And the one thing I'll say about Martin Casals is the Martin Casals I dealt with is not the Martin Casals we see in the ring today. And the difference is the mean streak. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Casals sent into the turnbuckle. What a clothesline by Paco. And another one. Make it two. Here we go. Paco on the 
And oh, what a forearm, flying burrito, forearm right into the face. Casals taken off his feet. And Paco, he might be looking for that big splash. His tried and true, it has scored him a number of victories. And this is how you retain the championship. He's going upstairs. Will it be high risk, high reward? Paco ascends the turnbuckle. And oh, oh. no water in the pool. Casal seizes the opportunity. Oh, TKO, what a maneuver. And oh, oh. I thought oh. that was it. You and me both, Paco barely two and seven eights, gets the shoulder off the mat. And smart maneuver there, you see he rolls to the sanctuary of the apron. And Casals may be a mistake here, arguing with Jack Traith instead of seizing this opportunity. Paco dumps, doubles him over, back into the turnbuckle. What could Paco be looking for here? This has been a high impact match. Lots of twists, lots of turns. Ooh. And they are jockeying for position on the top rope. This is a dangerous spot for both guys. Oh, no. What's Paco, Paco going for? Code Red! Oh, on the top rope, one, two! Oh, oh my goodness. How did Martin Casals kick out on the top rope? Code Red from Paco. You know, I mean, the back of his head slamming to the mat. And somehow the moth able to get his shoulder off the canvas. What a fantastic match. He, he has to be a superhuman. He, he's got to be part cyborg. I don't understand how Mark, and, and now Paco going back up top. Well, but has he gone to the well one too many times? Oh! Oh my goodness. Takes him off his feet with a straight, almost like a spear like a spe spine buster. I, I've never seen anything like a, that in my, it, it was, it was a spear buster. Yeah. For all intents and purposes, we'll call it that. And both guys look like they're having a difficult time regaining their composure. All the way to six, our referee. Casals trying to sit up now. And look at that look on his face right now. Casals, a new added dimension. That's this new dimension of his character, of his persona. That look on his face. You can see it in his eyes. He means business, he wants victory headbutt and the crowd trying to rally behind Paco straight fist to the forehead once again the audience the crowd the fans here at Cypress High School chanting let's go Paco showing their support oh Martin up top Paco fighting out they're trying to will him to victory gets a little bit of separation there what's he going for Oh, oh my goodness! His head implanted into the he mat. Is Martin Casals made that's, that's it. it. One, two. Oh! He calls it the Mochiville Sunset. I have never seen anything like that in my life. An unbelievable match from top to bottom, and still, still, our champion. Paco, lost what a win. Paco. <laughs> it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fun, fun. <laughs>